friends, I hope you are having a great day. In this video, we are going to learn about Webpack's Hot Module Replacement feature, also known as HMR or Live Reloading, which is also used to do the time travel debugging. I have this web React tab with this Webpack config in which entry point points to the router.jsx and output path points to the public asset JavaScript. So when I run the webpack command, it is going to generate a file called app.js inside the asset folder. And when I run the npm stat command, which starts the node server, which starts the express server and serves the static file from the public directory. So now when I navigate to this URL, I can see my new React tab. But if I make any changes to any components, Webpack does not create a new bundle and the application does not refresh by itself. So to make some improvements here, I can add a watch command real quick and run the npm start command again. Now you will see it starts the express server. In addition to that, a Webpack watches for all my uh, JavaScript files. So now when I make any changes to my components, you will see a Webpack created a new bundle, but the application did not refresh by itself. I have to refresh manually to see those changes. Wouldn't it be nice if the application refreshes by itself? Yes, in, in fact, we can do that. So to achieve that, we need to use Webpack's hot module replacement feature. And this is a great article which talks about in depth detail how it exactly it works. Uh, the highlight of this article is HMR is an opt-in feature. Uh, you need to use the Webpack dev server for it, which ships by itself. You need to use the compatible loaders and you should use it only for the development purpose because it adds a lot of code uh, to your a project to make it work and this is one of the best uh, uh, diagram I have found about HMR is that when you do the HMR and some of the highlights of this diagrams are when you do the HMR it starts two servers one webpack dev server and webpack dev server on the client side this server runs on your terminal whereas this server runs on your browser and you need to use the HMR replacement plugin which ships with the webpack dev server these two servers talks over webs via WebSocket over HTTPS. Uh, my goal is to show you how, uh, how to configure the Webpack to use all this. So now if I change branches, First thing is I have to install the webpack dev server and I have to make some changes to my webpack config. I added these two lines which starts the two dev servers, one on the client side and one on the terminal and they, I need to use the HTTPS protocol and they talk over HTTPS. Um, and in the loader section I added the react hot loader which is HMR compatible and in the plugin section, I added the HMR plugin. I also added this config for the dev servers. The cool thing is HMR, when you use the Webpack dev server, it does not write to your file system. It serves the file from the memory. Let's see what I mean by that. So currently this JavaScript is served from your file system. Now if I delete this and start the Webpack dev server, so when I do npm start, it basically starts a webpack dev server. And you see there is no JavaScript folder on my file local file system, but when I go to the app, it works. So webpack is serving this file from memory. Isn't it cool? Um, and when I make any changes to my app, webpack generates a new bundle and my app live reloads, I didn't need to refresh. Isn't it great? I want to try it one more time. Let's see it one more time. Yes, isn't it satisfying? I hope this video helps you configure your webpack to use the HMR feature. 
in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do this using the Node API for the Webpack dev server. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.